Indian Grey Mongoose versus King Cobra. Is this a fair fight? A mongoose is a long, furry animal with a pointy face and bushy tail. They are not rodents, despite popular belief. They belong to the Herpestidae family, which includes meerkats and civets. The Indian Grey Mongoose can survive a cobra attack, which few animals can, making it one of this deadly snake's predators. Mongooses are often kept as pets in order to rid houses of rats and other pests. It seems unfairly menacing that a snake that can literally stand up and look a full-grown person in the eye would also be among the most venomous on the planet, but that describes the famous King Cobra. Cobras, with their threatening hoods and intimidating upright postures, are some of the most iconic snakes on Earth. Their elegance, prideful stance and venomous bite have made them both respected and feared. Size and Description The Indian Grey Mongoose is typically between 14 and 17 inches in length, or 36 and 45 centimetres. The tail length of the mongoose is usually about the length of the body, about 17 inches or 45 centimetres. Its long tail length allows for the mongoose to be a very apt climber because of its added ability to balance. The species weighs between 2 and 4 pounds, or 0.98 and 1.7 kilograms, with the females being significantly smaller than the males. Their colouring is typically a tawny greyish-brown colour, with their underside being lighter than their upper body. The Indian grey mongoose typically lives about 12 years in captivity. Indian grey mongooses are unusual in that they can discriminate four colours more than most other mammals. The king cobra snake is the largest of the venomous land snakes, growing up to 18.5 feet, 5.7 metres, in length, and with a width of up to one foot, 0.3 metres, at the neck. However, as they are generally slender, king cobras usually do not exceed 44 pounds, 20 kilograms, in weight. Male king cobras are longer and weigh more than female king cobras. This is very unusual since in most snake species the male is smaller than the female. The king cobra can lift a third of its body off the ground. In fact, an 18-foot king cobra if stood upright, could actually look down onto the average human being. Like other snakes bearing the cobra name, the king cobra can also flatten its neck, giving it the distinctive hood. When the king cobra is threatened or on the attack, it will hiss, rear up and flatten its neck ribs into the hood. There are false eye spots on the hood, which can scare some predators. Even though their scaly skin glistens, it is actually dry to the touch. Adult cobras are yellow, green, brown or black. Juveniles are black with yellow or white bars crossing the body. Distribution and Habitat It has been generally accepted that the Indian grey mongoose occurs in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Bahrain, Iran, Pakistan, India, Nepal, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, as represented by the distribution map. A 2007 study found specimens also in Turkey and United Arab Emirates, thus extending the known range. They appear to be able to occupy a wide variety of habitats, but preferring open types. These include grasslands, open areas, rocky patches, scrub, semi-desert, cultivated fields, and other disturbed areas, areas of thickets, bushy vegetation, dry secondary forest, thorn forest, forest edges, and also near human settlement. Although the creature has been described as being less dependent on human settlements, observations in India in heavily forested areas show it to be much more common around human settlements, often scavenging on waste. This species of snake is mainly found around the areas of India and Asia. They live in locations that offer a thick forest region. 
This allows them to be hard to identify due to the colorations they offer. The risk of coming into contact with one of them in such forest locations is very high. They tend to stick in the dense places that typically aren't disturbed. If you stay on the main paths, you can significantly reduce your chances of coming along and surprising one of them in their natural habitat. This particular type of snake is also one that stays close to bodies of water. Diet The Indian grey mongoose has a varied diet consisting of rats, mice, other rodents, small birds, birds' eggs, invertebrates and lizards. They are also known to kill snakes, including cobras, which requires a great deal of speed and agility. It is one of the only species that is known for its ability to kill these deadly snakes, as well as other poisonous snake species. Their ability to kill these potentially fatal animals is due to their speed as well as to their exceptionally thick, coarse coat. The king cobra snake's diet is mainly composed of other snakes. The king cobra snake prefers non-venomous snakes, however it will also eat other venomous snakes including crates and Indian cobras. When food is scarce, king cobras will also feed on other small vertebrates such as lizards. Like all snakes, they swallow the prey whole head first. Behaviour Mongooses are terrestrial, diurnal, solitary hunters that search during the day and into late evening. They can be seen at any time of the day, but Indian grey mongooses are especially active in the early morning and early evening in search of reptiles. They use a quick trot, moving constantly, scanning the area for food. They are rarely seen climbing trees. This species is known for its ability to combat venomous snakes. It primarily achieves this through tiring the snake out by enticing it to make multiple strikes which it acrobatically avoids. Secondary protection against a venomous bite includes the stiff rigid hair which is excited at such times. The thick loose skin and specialized acetylcholine receptors render it resistant or immune to snake venom. When dealing with scorpions, no measures are taken to disable the sting, and they are picked up in any manner. A group of king cobras is called a quiver. Despite the king cobra's fearsome reputation, it is generally a shy and reclusive animal, avoiding confrontation with people as much as possible. There are many smaller venomous snakes within this species range, that are responsible for a far greater number of fatal snake bites. Throughout history, fewer epic brawls in the animal kingdom have gained more renown than the classic battle between the cobra and the mongoose. In ancient Egyptian and Indian civilizations, cobras were feared for their venom and worshipped as deities, and mongooses were revered for their ability to dispatch venomous snakes. Now, of course, Cobras are not all lumped into a single species or family of snakes, but they are all venomous. Similarly, mongooses are an entire family of mammals, although one of the most renowned snake fighters is the Indian grey mongoose. Yet, while cobras are not interested in devouring mongooses, mongooses can and do devour cobras and other venomous snakes. While the cobras have very potent venom, this is unfortunately not enough to stop a hungry mongoose. This is because many species of mongoose are extremely agile, have thick fur coats, and possess specialized acetylcholine receptors that render them resistant or immune to snake venom. So, in a battle between cobra and mongoose, it is incredibly lopsided in favor of the mongoose. Nevertheless, this does not make the battle any less fascinating. When the cobras and mongooses flourish and parry, they are graceful and crafty. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.